Hey, hi, and welcome to another segment of Dog Tricks of the Trade. And you're going to be working with Carson today as my actor. And of course, I'm Deb Kirk. Welcome to K&D English Springer Spaniels. This is my grooming chop and my small breeder's kennel. So we are doing a show grooming show dog event today. And what I'm going to start with, actually, because there's a lot of people that have their first show dogs. I already did uh, two segments on what should be in your tack box. And I thought that it would be fun today. If I can untangle myself from the microphone here. Okay, Neil, come over here and do the camera. Yeah. Just keep it focused on whatever we're doing. Pick it up. Okay. You can pick, yeah, you pick, well, the pick, yeah, right. All right, so what we're gonna do today is that I'm going to show you along with your tack box which is over here and we went through that last week okay so when you're at the dog show this would be open now what's inside of this little goodie okay here are your washing bowls that you're going to be using at the table right a very smart grooming smock and for dog shows you really do want one that's long sleeved because you're going to have your very best dog grooming clothes on and this will go over and protect everything here at my grooming shop i don't care because i just wear my kennel clothes and it's always fun all the dog shows have these little embroidery stands so you can have your dog's name or your kennel or whatever there on your smock that's always fun for the ladies out there I have special shoes that I wear only at dog shows because they fit tight. Uh, they're Clarks. They have a good bottom for running. They look pretty, so I'm not thumping around in sneakers. So I only wear those at dog shows, so I only have them in this box. That way I never forget them. You will absolutely positively need a portable hair dryer when you're at the dog show. Assorted spray bottles. Um, one might be water, one might be just a touch of that unicure that I've showed you before, just a teeny tiny little bit that would hold down static if you're in an indoor area where it's very dry. Paper towels are always a must. And this is essential. You get to the dog show, you're going to have to have an electric cord. So this one's 25 foot, but it allows me to plug into somebody else's or against a wall and gives me four nice outlets. So that is a must. When I use cornstarch, which, which isn't very often, I keep it in here. This is a lock. I mean, trust me. You have got to put out some money and get a lock, lock, lock tight for cornstarch because it has a way of sneaking out and getting all over everything and then it becomes disgusting. So I've probably had this in here for two years and look, nothing. So that's a really nice container. Then at the very, very, very bottom, whoa, I have this guy. There's extra cornstarch, okay? Now, when you're at an indoor show, a lot of times the matting and the flooring is very slippery. So you want to get an anti-slip spray. I can show later, but really all you do is pick it up and spray it on the dog's pad on the back, and that keeps them from slipping so much, okay? Right, I always have to have my trusty sunscreen if I'm outside. There's your Pantene, which you are going to use in the rinse water. There is your Dawn, which you will use in your bucket wash water. Okay. Um, for uh, I like this because when you're at an outdoor dog show, if you're getting into gnats or any kind of bugs, you can just spray this on yourself, on your dog. It has no odor. And field people use this all the time for hunting. Uh, the skin so soft it actually is a repellent to by Avon. yeah by Avon for mosquitoes bugs gnats so that's an interesting thing to have on hand all right why not sponges for your two buckets um, quite honestly I kind of like two different colored but that way I know which one's the wash and which one's the cream rinse but that and trash bags just always have trash bags always 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 so I'm going to keep this out, and I'm going to keep the Pantene out. 
and then put that over here so that people can see how we pack these. All right. So this is for my grooming arm, and I'm. This is a very easy thing not to have at the dog show. So really, you can see I have two <laughs> in this box. So this is how many times I've gotten to the dog show with my grooming arm and not my <laughs> and not the latch to put it onto my table. So now I'm absolutely positively sure that I have it at all times because I have extras. Okay. There goes back that. Okay, so that is what we have in that box. And we already know what we have in the tack box from the other video that I did. So that's all here. Opened up as if we were at the dog show. We'd have crates lined up. All of this would be open, accessible to us. I would have one more bin, and that would be just for towels. And that would be for just I call slop towels, just for washing. So when you are doing all the dirty work with the dog, this goes under. And then I also have my pretty dress up, the table towels, which are blue, and have my nice little K&D or my Springer Club logo on them and makes everything look pretty, pretty, pretty. But that's after the dog is fully groomed. All right, so I am going to have Neil go to, there's always restrooms or a, um, who are the people who clean up these events? I'm like brain dead today. Janitor's closet. There you go. A janitor's closet, a restroom. There's somewhere where you can normally get warm water. So try to get warm water because it's just nicer for the dog. So we're going to stop here and then start up again in just a minute. <laughs>